Hi, this is Mrs. Barb. This lesson is how to change an improper fraction to a mixed number. Sometimes when you add your fractions together, you get an improper fraction. It means you have more in your numerator than you do in your denominator. Let's try this, this addition, fraction addition. Two-fourths. A little more room here. Plus three-fourths. One, two, three-fourths. <clears throat> and if we put them together, we get five-fourths. This is an improper fraction because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Let's turn that into a mixed number. A mixed number is a number that has a whole number in it and a fraction. Let's see if we can find a whole number here out of all of these fourths. How many fourths did it take to make up one whole? Four fourths. One, two, three, four. And we have one fourth left over. We can write that as a mixed number of one and one fourth. So five fourths is equal to one and one fourth. This is an improper fraction changed to a mixed number. We always want to write improper fractions as mixed numbers because they're much easier to imagine. We'll see an example of that a little later. Right now, let's put the fourths away and let's get out some sevenths. Let's get out five sevenths. One, two, three, four, five. And let's add it to four sevenths. One, two, three, four sevenths. <clears throat> When we add five, four, five sevenths and four sevenths, we get how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sevenths. We get an improper fraction. Nine sevenths is an improper fraction because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So that means that we can turn it into a mixed number. Let's see how that works with sevenths. Can you make a whole out of these sevenths? Let's try. Let's see if we can get one whole number out of there. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven sevenths is the same as one whole. Here's one whole. I'll show you. Bring one out just so that you can see. I don't want to keep it out here because it's not part of my problem. I just wanted to show you that they are the same. So our nine sevenths has now turned into one and two sevenths. One whole and two-sevenths is a mixed number, and this is how you write it. One and two-sevenths. So nine-sevenths is equal to one and two-sevenths. We have changed this improper fraction to a mixed number.
Now let's try one that's very hard to imagine as an improper fraction. Let me get the sevenths put away. Get them in the right box here. Let's try 24 ninths. That is an improper fraction because the numerator is much higher than the denominator. Wow, so we're going to get out 24 ninths. I just happen to have them set out over here on the side. I'll just bring them over so you can see them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. That is 24 ninths. That's a lot of ninths. I can't quite imagine what 24 ninths looks like unless I lay them all out like this. And that's a lot of ninths to try and imagine in your head. So what we're going to try and do is see if we can make some whole numbers out of this. Change it to a mixed number. Let's start down here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Can you see what I'm doing there? Seven, eight, nine. It took nine ninths to make one whole. Let's make sure that's nine ninths. I'll pull this one out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, that was nine ninths. Let's see if we can make another hole. One, two, three put together. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Let's see if these nine ninths make a whole as we think they should, just like that one. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we have two holes. Think we can make another one? One, two, three, four, five, and six. No, that is not a whole. That is a fraction. We have two holes and one fraction. These whole numbers and our fraction put together, six ninths, are making a mixed number of two and six ninths. So remember that pile of 24 ninths we had? is equal to two and six ninths. This is where it is definitely easier to imagine two and six ninths than it is to imagine 24 ninths. That was a big pile of ninths. And that is the end of our lesson to convert an improper fraction to a mixed number.